students today i'll be speaking about one deal which was signed on 13th of august between the two nations israel and uae and it is termed as the big deal or the donald trump award what it is that we discuss in the day uae will establish diplomatic relations with israel and in return israel will give up a plan to annex the west bank which it annexed in 1967 the six days war this couple of days back israel announced that it will include the west bank west bank of the river jordan into its act you have become the third arab nation to recognize israel after egypt in 1979 in 1979 egypt signed the camp david accord and at that time its president was anwar sadat but unfortunately when he arrived in his country he was shot at and then another country is jordan which signed in 1994 and now uae in 2020 There are 22 countries in the Arab League, and out of it, 16 nations do not consider Israel as its own state. Now, briefly about Israel. Israel came into being after the Second World War in 1948. In its language, Hebrew, it means the Holy Land. As soon as it came into existence, according to the Balfour Accord, it had a war with the Arabian nations in 1948. In 1956, again it had a war with Egypt, and in 1956 it snatched Sinai Peninsula from Egypt. In 1967, there was a six days war. in which israel defeated all the arabian nations and snatched the few strategic areas from these arabian nations like gaza strip from the egyptians and golan heights from syria hardly west bank from jordan Three very important strategic areas it snatched, which are the source of tension between the Arab nations and the Israel. Now, according to this accord, on priority, Israel and UAE will work together to find a treatment and vaccine for COVID-19. The agreement is hailed by President Donald Trump, Benjamin Netanyahu. and Sheikh Mohammed Zayed Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Some scholar says that Donald Trump should be given the Nobel Peace Prize for this accord as earlier Mr Obama was also given the peace accord there were many uh, presidents of America who were awarded with the Nobel Peace Prize Palestinian leadership rejects and denounces the UAE, Israel, and USA trilateral announcements. Mahmoud Abbas said it betrayed its betrayal of Jerusalem, Al Aqsa, and the Palestinian cause. I'll inform you that Al Aqsa. is a second important mosque for the muslims after the makkah and the medina 
it, it, it is in Jerusalem. Hamas. There are two groups of Palestinian liberation organizations. One is Hamas, another is Fatah. Hamas, a Palestinian Islamist militant group called it a stabbing in the back of our people by the UAE. When Iran and Turkey strongly rejected it, Saudi Arabia is silent, but Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Salman, is very close to the Trump administration. He cannot go against the America. This accord will certainly change the geopolitics of the Middle East. How? Now, to understand how it will change and how it is changing the geopolitics, we have to go with the relations. Now, see the relationship of Israel, Saudi Arabia, Iran, and US. Saudi Arabia and Israel are the staunch enemies. Iran and Israel are also the staunch enemies. Saudi Arabia and Iran are also staunch enemies. USA is a very close ally of Israel as well as Saudi Arabia. Whereas, it is a staunch enemy of the Iran. There is a conflict between the Arabian nations and Iran because of the Shia Sunni nations. Now, the anti-Iran enmity alliance with Israel is very much possible. Iran and its proxy allies like Syria, Lebanon, and Iraq, the Hezbollahs in Lebanon and Houthis in Yemen will be weakened with this trilateral accords. Russia is a strong ally of Syria, but he is yet to react. And same is with China. And South Asia, this accord will certainly play a very important role. But it will be for Pakistan. Pakistan can be in trouble because Imran Khan's earlier wife, Jamina Goldsmith, was the daughter of a Jewish millionaire. He is already facing a criticism in his own country. You is a good friend of Pakistan. And Pakistan already has announced that Saudi Arabia refused to refer the Kashmir issue in the organization of Islamic countries. And on the other hand, Saudi Arabia reminded Pakistan to pay the loan of $3 billion given to him in 2015. Even if Pakistan does not join the Arab group plus Israel, it cannot go against them. Now, many people say Trump came out of it. It was a master stroke on the part of Mr. Donald Trump. No. Trump gained in his foreign policy because earlier his attempt in the Korean Peninsula was, could not be a successful. And Afghan Accord, which he signed sometime back, is hanging in the air. US China relations are getting strained day by day. And traditionally, the NATO allies have been silent. Even if UAE Israel Accord does not bring Israel. Palestine peace, the new occasion will be there as it had isolated Iran already. Elections are due in USA in November 2020. Joe Biden of Democrats is getting stronger day by day. This accord 
certain mechanical pump in the collections which are going to be held in the November 24 It can be because of the China Iran Iran closeness of because recently China and Iran have signed a lot of agreements. But suddenly the tension is going to be flared up in the Middle East, which is already there. Thank you very much.